Great excitement as always in the winner's area because Strawberry Bear has shown them a clean pair of heels here in the lucky last. The Hollywood Bet's Bright Future 87 handicap. It was raced over 1,200 metres and there's, as I said, great joy and so there should be. But with me is uh, Mzwake and uh, he is the groom of Strawberry Bear. He gets 1,000 rand on behalf of Hollywood Bet's and Gold Circle. Well done to you Mzwake. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Well done. Let's wait for Serena. We're right up uh, next to the jockey room here. Now, it's been, a, as I said earlier on, a, a Wednesday afternoon up in the province of KwaZulu-Natal, but it's been some fantastic racing, and we've been treated to some good races and some good finishes, and we can't help but get excited again, because this horse, we, we've always known that he's a nice type, but today he's shown us that he's even nicer. Yes, definitely. You know, we always thought as a yard that he could be something, you know, it's just baby steps with him and win the right races. And you know, it's uh, fantastic for the partners, Sterling and Mr. Jelinski. Just so much fun having owners like Mr. Jelinski around and uh, had to wait the whole day to deliver one for him. He's a, and he, he, he will never ups, be upset, he's a lunatic, but he's just the most wonderful man. How do you put up with him? No, he's just, he's just fun. You know, we need owners like this in the game. You know, he comes to, to track often and uh, keeps us on our toes and uh, lets the sisters make him a lot of coffee. But uh, it's just fun, you know, it's just fantastic to Mr. Miller. You know, we thought he was just short of a gallop and uh, look today, he proved that he is an nicer type horse. His ability brought him through and uh, just fantastic. The team behind me, Mr. Udi, you know, Sterling, Mrs. Miller. It's a massive team effort, so massive thanks to each and every one of them. I had a word with Mike uh, under the pergola there because he didn't want to get wet. And I said, well, you know, the way he's going, we, we can't predict the future, but champion season comes up and hopefully he just continues to progress and maybe we'll see him in one of the bigger races in the season. That's obviously the ultimate goal. Yes, 100%. You know, we'll obviously take our chances where we can. Obviously, in the right races, it'll suit him with the right type of weight. But uh, look, it's just baby steps for now. Just get the wins out under the belt and uh, it's just fantastic. Like I always say, it's a team behind me. I can't do it without them. So a massive thanks to them. You're an integral part of the team. Don't sell yourself short. Well done. Thanks so much. Once again, big thanks to my sponsors, Winiform. Thank you. Who's next? Let's get... Uh, <laughs> We've got an audience here. They're shouting for you, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> when, uh, <laughs> when you called me in the rain to come and talk to you, you came and you said this horse was born on the th uh, 19th of October on your birthday, but it was gelded on the 21st of November. And uh, you, you got the birthday, but you escaped the gelding. No, I got gelded last week. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Jokes aside, well done. You know, Warren, I I'm absolutely over the moon. He's been off since the 3rd, I think, of uh, December. And the Miller Yard, I've got to give them all the credit from Galubi and Samson and Michael, obviously, Craig. Tony, Tony, just put a <laughs> and all these guys, you know, they, they've, they've made horse racing for me so, so, so enjoyable. And I, I don't know what to say. I'm over the moon. And I've just got to thank the Miller Yard. And I think we've got a beautiful horse. And my mate Sterling there, he let me get, in it, get into it for nothing. Can I pause you for a moment? Sterling, could you please come and join us? And uh, yeah, let's hope he can go on. I'm sure he can go on from here. I think he's had a, a lot of unlucky runs, Warren. I think he should have won two more. Okay. He got very, very badly interfered with it once. And uh, on the one, one, one race he ran in. And then on another race, he was beaten by a, a basically a nose. Uh, and Muds will say to you, he, he didn't, see the, didn't see the horse coming up on the inside at, at, Gravel, at Gravel. So I think, you know, we've got six checks from six runs. I mean, what more can you want out of a horse? And, you know, to be mates with Sterling and it's, it, it, it's, it's a happy, happy, happy family reunion every day I go to the, uh, every day that I go to the track. But there's one person that I've got to really, really credit and that's Muds. Muds to me is a super, super, super little guy. He's always there. He walks, works hard. He, 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 he rides a strawberry bear every single day, whether it be a trot, a canter, or a half pace, Mudley's on him. And Muds, I've got so much respect for that little guy. And this is his fifth winner for me in the matter of three months. Eh? So I'm over the moon, but this is the man that I've really... Before you go, thank you, as I say, to all the owners for your passion, for your love of the racing industry. And as Serena said, we need more owners like you. We appreciate every owner, but it's your moment now, and we thank you. Yeah, thanks very much, Warren. And, and thanks to you guys and Hollywood's Bets and everybody that makes this game so beautiful, uh, what it is. And uh, as I say, I can't say too much more. I'll leave it to my mate. He's my spokesman.
well done, Sterling. Uh, you're going to represent your dad as the trainer and as part owner. And just to end the day off, the atmosphere is electric. It is, it is. Thank you very much. I know it's a huge team effort. Craig, Lily, my dad, my mom, you know, everyone at home, Gulubi, Samson, you don't understand the work that goes on behind the scenes. So good luck to everyone. And, and well done to Tony. It's been a pleasure racing horses with him. I mean, he's, uh, he's become like family, like he said. And I must give a big shout out to Corin and Warwick from Bushel. That's where you, that's where you grew up. And um, he doesn't know what he's buying, he doesn't know what he costs, and he, he's, uh, he's a dream to own. Uh, lovely, Sterling, and to you as well for all the effort you put in with your syndicate and your pound bloodstock, and you're always getting people involved. Well done, and may it go from strength to strength for you. Thank you, thank you very much. And of course, Michael Miller and Craig Udy, the two gentlemen behind the scenes, and I nearly said elderly gentlemen, but they'll be very upset with me, but they've been in the game. You put Craig Udy's uh, experience and Mike Miller's experience, combine them, you'll have uh, 90 years of experience. And uh, well done to all concerned. And of course, uh, Bushill flying the flag. M uh, Miss Giddy, well done to you. You've bred this horse. And flying the flag, yep, they don't know who they buy. They don't know what they cost. There's uh, good flying the flags all over the place.